Good job, the Game Boy camera twitch. Okay, uh, is in. Okay, two minutes, so two minutes. How are y'all doing? How are you enjoying LA Comic Con? Good. Yeah. All right. Okay, hello, I'm Maxwell. Uh, that guy with the Game Boy camera, because I run around with the Game Boy camera and take people's photos. All right, this is a big Fallout fan. I also got this documentary on YouTube called Lost Snoo, Fallout Snow Globe Road Trip. If you like Fallout, I run around and eat the snow globes in the real Las Vegas. Yes, it's a real movie. It's pretty silly. Okay, one minute left. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, uh, let's see what I've made here. Uh, uh, this was an... Okay, uh, if you want to know where you can find 3D models, uh, start with Thingiverse. So these are things you can put in your 3D printer. Uh, if you have questions about 3D printing, you can ask them here as I model. Yeah, the thing of this is going to be the joy of painting, but with 3D models. Oh yeah, what do you want to know about 3D printing? Uh, I have a 3D printer, and I tried 3D printing some stuff, and I just recently got one, so I got like a cheap one. So, okay. uh, I have an issue with my filament keeps on splitting. Oh, so splitting filament. Yeah, as in it's going in, but it's cutting before oh. it goes in. Uh, you know, I've kind of had an issue with that too recently, and I, uh, you know, I was 3D printing these, uh, you know, these uh, boxes, you know, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, so it does a lot of uh, straight lines over and over. Uh, uh, I, 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 it was like cutting before it, uh, before it gets in the tube. Uh, yeah. uh, what I did is I uh, went to the settings and I increased the temperature by like five or ten degrees, so it you know melts easier and uh, and you know, it's probably probably may, might be even harder to push. So try increasing the temperature. Uh, you know, whatever the manufacturer yeah. was that you bought it from, I would just either contact them or look on the forums and figure out for that specific filament what the temperature needs to be. Because I think the splitting happens because of the temperature. Not All right. Usually, yeah. 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 So try increasing the temperature a bit. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, so here's some things I cobbled. Uh, this camera thing. This something else. This here's a, a tiki mug for a game that looks like a Game Boy. Getting my uh, tiki friend to put them into production. All right, so these are things I. So our program here is called Tinkercad. It is free to use. Uh, there are limits, and uh, this is if you want to get started in 3D modeling, you, you can do it here. All right, it's going to be like a sandbox, uh, like a Lego box full of uh, things you can put in and make. All right, all right. Uh, these things can load. I can show you what I've uh, cobbled here. You can also import an existing 3D models, so go to Thingiverse, and if you want to import the uh, Snorlax here and put some, I don't know, who knows, give him, a, give him a lollipop, you can do that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, uh, what should we do? What do you want me to make? Yeah, so this panel is going to show the dynamicism yes. of this uh, yes. tool. I don't. It's kind of like a challenge. I, give, him some, give him an idea. And he's this is going to be. Show you. I don't come up with anything. Master sword. What? Master sword. Master sword. Okay, let's just go with. Oh, I can't guarantee a master sword. Let's just go with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> so let's click new. Get this loaded. Uh, looks like our Wi-Fi uh, might be slower than my house. So it's got a 3D design here. Hello. Okay. All right. Anyone walking in? Just want some uh, 3D printed junk out of this bag, like a 3D printed item. All right. Let's wait for it to load. All right. What's uh, good on? What's popular on Thingiverse right now? Uh, battery holders. Yeah. You know, we had a droid panel here, and they talked about how you can make 3D printed parts for your droid. Making a uh, design a droid in Think Tinkercad. This is cute. Okay, you know what, there are other programs for uh, 3D modeling, so I have one here. So 
until Tinkercad comes up. I'm just going to wing it with uh, another with a free one. Shaper 3D. Oh, Tinkercad loading. Okay. Well, since I brought up uh, Shaper 3D, I'll just wait for that to load. It's another free program. Later. Okay, and uh, I did a, a Tinker. I did a 3D model challenge. Uh, at Ontario Comic Con and uh, Comic Con Revolution, and then we came up with this mug here. Yeah, because I uh, couldn't use uh, their Wi-Fi there. So yeah, th but this is a, a 3D model that you can program, you can download, and uh, there's a lot of YouTube tutorials on it. Okay. Anyway, what do we want to make? A sword. All right. So we got our shapes here to the to the uh, our right. Okay. Let's uh, see how I can make a hilt. Start with a cube and lower that cube. All right, extend it a bit. All right. Okay. All right. If you want to ask me questions or just want to talk, go ahead. All right. Yeah, let's use as much space here. So. Okay. As you're making the sword, we see that there's some sort of scale happening. Is this actually scaled to a particular dimension, or do we get to figure that out after the fact? All right, all right. These numbers you see, they're all in millimeters. So this is uh, four millimeters high. Okay. Anyway, anyway, we got Shaper here, so I'm just going to close that. So yeah, that's another option for 3D modeling. And we came again back at Com Comic Con Revolution, made a mug. Hey, you can actually design Tiki. Yeah, I showed you my Tiki mug earlier. Uh, you can Make designer tiki mugs and sell them at uh, tiki to tiki enthusiasts. So yes, you can make profit. You can attempt to make a profit on this. Uh, yes, you. So uh, I'm fairly familiar with uh, SolidWorks in my life. Oh yeah. Uh, this um, is, go ahead. I'm just wondering if there's anything akin to uh, being able to draw and cut or secure from there. No, no. We were doing so good. <laughs> oh, oh god, what's happening? Come on. We're doing so well there. This is this embarrassing? All because you closed Shaper 3D. <laughs> that was the key. You intimidated it. I already did this. Why you made me do this again? All right, don't ask me to do that again. Yeah, Wi Fi. Looks like a good thing it's saved. Anyway, you said about uh, drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we didn't lose too much data here. We're just, this is gonna be our, get a sword, we need a hilt. A anyway, drawing, drawing. Uh, so there's this uh, scribble uh, feature here. So let's scribble something. Uh, what do you wanna scribble on our uh, blade or sword? I think we're just gonna get a dagger here because of space. I have my mouse here, I can scribble whatever, draw whatever. Uh, I guess it's smiley face. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. oh. yeah, Let's put a <laughs> circle around it. Okay, uh, let's go with done. Okay, so let's, uh, now we made a smiley face that we drew. Automatic and just drew. So, uh, choose cut also enough. Or what? Is that what you're going to do? What? Cutting? Cutting? What do you mean cutting? Uh, I guess here it looks more like an intersection kind of a feature, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. normally mm -hmm. like you, instead of extrude, you'd cut with the shape. Uh, so I, see. What? I think he's asking whether or not it's a recessed uh, image or if it's going to be a raised image. A raised image. Okay. 
I'm not even sure what you're getting at. Uh, let's just follow along here. So let's start with our hilt, and now we have our smiley face uh, emblem that we trademarked. Okay. All right. Uh, but let's put, bring some shapes here. Let's turn this on its side. Uh, that can be like that uh, yeah, that area between the uh, the hilt and the and the blade. Okay. Let's guard. What? The guard is what. Ah, the guard. Okay. I don't know everything, so by all means, interject if there's a if something I don't that I'm getting wrong. Okay. Let's raise that a little above, so higher here. Okay. Okay. So yeah, when you make put your three D models in, let's say your CAD pro, your uh, slicer, which I'll, I'll get to, uh, it's gotta build support. So. If there's a, let's say, an empty space under your item that you're putting into your slicer, uh, that'll tell your 3D, that's just your, your, that'll tell your 3D printer to build support. So there'll be these these uh, support uh, uh, that that gets printed, and you cut that off when uh, when it's you know, when the print is done. Yeah, do I have anything like that in here? All right. Yeah. So let's say you print this guy you know, from the ground up. But uh, how how's his uh, what's gonna hold on to his uh, arm there? Uh, there's uh, these, this uh, it's called supports. Uh, build under. Uh, we'll we'll I'll load something in the uh, in my slicer program later. It's called Cura. That's uh, rec recommended. Okay, let's put a let's put something sharp on this. Okay, we got a guard. Now I'm cylinder guard. Okay. All right, I have an idea. Put another cube on here. Okay. Okay, there's our cube. And uh, let's put this uh, pyramid here. All right, let's turn that to uh, say 90 degrees. Uh, now 80, now, now 180 degrees. Turn that around. <coughs> okay. Okay, and for the most part, uh, we have a sword. They can get for the kids. <laughs> See, safe for kids. <laughs> and that's our happy sword. What do you think? upside down. Well, smiley face. Okay. All right. So for the most part, that's our sword. Uh, smiley sword. Okay. And it's already saved. All right. That was simple. Let's do something else. What? Well, give me something to do. So yeah. Finding shapes and making objects like that, and then you can put them in your 3D printer. Okay, what what do you want me to do next? A what? A toilet. A toilet. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to Thingiverse real quick. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a. Top here. Uh, I actually have a. I have something on Etsy I sell. I uh, let's say I went into our uh, 
How about, how about I just show you the slicer program? You know, just so we can get used to that. Uh, okay, what did I, did I type in toilet here? Oh, sorry, I typed pink clothes. Uh, I can make klutzy at times. Okay, let's open up Cura here so we can so I can show you what this is this is what happens before you this is how what tells your 3D printer to print and how to print it. Okay, so how about I go to my uh, 3D print folder? Okay, what do y'all like? I got I saved a lot of things here. What do y'all like? Anime. Anime. Oh. Okay, that anime is good. So I have my own, I have an anime folder here. If you download, if you save a lot of uh, files, you're just gonna you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna make categories for them. Okay, let's put the sh let's upload Shenron here. So this Shenron file comes in many parts. Or looks like here's this one that has a entire uh, build of Shenron. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so we can we can move them here. We can scale them. Let's uh, scale them. Uh, let's uh, make them ten percent bigger. Okay, we have our settings here, layer height. Now this, now we, these get printed, printed in millimeters, so it then does a one layer at a time. All right, now I, should, I mentioned support earlier, so let's go to preview here. So this is gonna show you what, you can see how uh, your support here. Let's go, let me just wait for it to load here. Uh, while, while all their uh, slicer programs are uh, loading, uh, what do you want? What do you want me to make next? And uh, since anyway, we we can just go to Thingiverse and you know download a toilet here. Actually, there's, yeah, there's a lot of toilet humor on Thingiverse. You want me to add something to a toilet? <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I don't know. know like no smoking sign, something that incorporates text. No smoking. But, I don't know. It's one thing to make a sword, but you know, a toilet. You know, how about we just go back into the Tinkercad and. And, uh, people like to make the, this. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I just, I just want to see if we can make new things, you know, not things that already exist. Uh, what about a cookie cutter? You know what? Why not? Mm -hmm. right. You know, cookie cutters are a thing. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know, cookie cutters come in different shapes. So, what, uh, what should a, our cookie cutter be shaped like? I mean, there's, there's cookie cutters for jets here and uh, Pokemon. Okay. Fallout snow globes. Fallout snow globes. Uh, as you know, I do sell those. Uh, 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 think about this. See, you can print a base for a snow globe, but uh, then you gotta get the, uh, the the clear dome. Think, yeah, but yeah, find some really uh, clear uh, filament for that. But I just buy the kits. It's, it's just simpler that way. Uh, okay. Okay. Think. Give me something interesting to make. every 15 minutes. Okay. I think it does every 15 minutes, it asked me. Okay, so, uh, welcome, let's go back to Tinkercad. Okay, how's Shenron doing? Still loading. All right, okay, that, that, that's, that takes a lot of data. Let's just, let me throw something else in there. Retsco, uh, looks like Lucky Cat, but it's Retsco, or a uh, Retsco, in that Netflix show. Where do you typically find these files, these FTLs, or are these your own personal designs? Oh, uh, like I said, I can find these on, uh, there's a lot of websites out there. This one, a uh, common one, is called Thingiverse. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, thingiverse.com. There's also uh, my mini factory. Yeah, last time I did this, uh, we did a cup and a mug, and the last time we did this, uh, did, uh, 
we made our I made our own uh, handheld video game console. Yeah, it looked pretty impractical. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So this one right here, that's Action Abe, Fallout Three, Fallout Three, and here's the impractical. Uh, I call it the fan gear. We made that at. Uh, it's called Fangia. Happens every. Uh, every May now. Yeah, so this is the, uh, our Game Gear look-alike came up with. What about a, a headphone stand for your dad? Now again, you know, uh, I'm gonna make a headphone stand. Uh, how's it gonna be designed? Let's make it look funky. A hand? A hand. Okay, so, uh, all right, one more time. What are we making? A hand headphone. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's get a base here. Here's the start of the cube. Alright. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, start. Right, let's start with that. Of course, we can come in and readjust it. Alright, so Thingiverse has more uh, designs and things to use. Uh, are there any hands I can use? I've got letters, springs. Logo. Uh, my smiley scribble got saved in there. All right, let's put the elemental star on there because I think it looks cool. We got any, uh, there are any hands here, creatures and characters, fun games. Is this the only 3D software to use? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's simple to use, but there are more complicated, uh, more complex ones out there. I recommend Blender. I think uh, part, parts of South Park is made in Blender. If you want to make those detailed uh, Cthulhu monsters, go to Blender. You'll be making octopuses in no time. Okay, you know what? Hand. That's uh, uh, this cartoon hand here. All right. So looks like we're gonna give our do a handstand. All right. Uh, sure. All right. So you can say probably take those shapes from earlier and make a. And probably did put a term into some sort of hand that you put your headphones on. general idea. You can put uh, your headphones on that. Or we can... Uh, so how long would something like that take to print? You know, it always depends. Let's see, we got a Retsco here. Uh, we're, let's see. Uh, okay, so this uh, object of a lucky cat Retsco was had to lower to 52 millimeters high, which is approximately two inches. Uh, this one would take, so it's slicing. So yeah, we're back in Kura. We loaded this model of Retsuko from that anime, but she looks like you know, the lucky cat. You've probably seen those in uh, sushi restaurants. Okay, this one would take, uh, on, on these general settings, on a uh, Creality CR-10S, uh, three hours, 22 minutes. Of course, we need to increase 
We can increase the uh, layer height, which is each layer that gets printed. Wall thickness. Oh yeah, you can look up uh, settings here for you know 3D printers. So, so if you get a Creality CR10S, look up the set general settings for that. All right. And I mentioned uh, anyway. I mentioned uh, supports earlier for the for let's say where she's doing the devil horns. All right. We also select our infill, uh, apply the heat, print speed. <coughs> Oh yeah, so support, I have it at tree. All right, and if we look closely, uh, we see how each layer gets printed. And we can uh, see these uh, tree shapes, or that acts as our support, so, so it gets printed correctly. All right, y'all see that? Okay, any other questions about uh, slicers and 3D printers? Uh, how come you have it at tree, uh, tree sh uh, shape? Oh, it just saves on, uh, on it saves on uh, filament. And we can also do normal. Yeah, this is how what happened before. Uh, Kura updated it with this tree feature. So you know, uh, so it's kind of like this. But it used to be a support would be you know, the, let's see, how can I explain this? Uh, like this grid that gets. All right, you know, looks like we see it here. Uh, it's, it, it saves on uh, on filament. So if you get, get your printer right, you trust it, uh, set it to tree and you'll save some filament. Okay, let's go back to uh, Facebook uh, browser. Okay, so here's our, uh, there's that uh, headphone stand we just made. So if we want to make a hand, all right, let's uh, get this shape here. Side. Lower it. Okay, we can uh, turn this cube into a and the fingers. Okay, I think we have the general idea here, right? Okay. All right, then we just uh, put that at the top. Okay, let's go with something else. Uh, that, that should be the general idea for our headphone stand, right? Okay. okay uh. Okay. Uh, what should I make next? Since I have some time. Okay. Uh, give me ideas for new 3D models. Something interesting. Something uh, that's not on. Anyone? Nick? You might want to consider making another Tiki mode specific to LA Comic Con. You know what? That sounds great. Okay, let's uh, make a quick Tiki mode uh, before uh, the end. Uh, see where, how far we get before uh, the convention center asks me to enter my Wi Fi pass, enter, <laughs> uh, ask for my account again. Okay, so. Mugs are usually cylinder shaped, so, all right, so let's get a big cylinder. Okay, now, let's get a drag another cylinder in here. Uh, however, this is what uh, has the hole feature on, so, so if you stick in this, uh, you can stick it in the, uh, the solid you know, cylinder here, but not make it bigger, okay. Okay, so that's our uh, hole we're gonna stick here. Oh, did it again. Hold on, convention center's a... You jinxed yourself. What uh, filament would you print this out in for it to be food safe? Uh, uh, I, you can re research that on your own, but I generally use a PLA as a standard. There's also ABS, that gets printed at a higher temperature. Uh, so be sure to look up uh, food safe uh, filament for 3D printing. But you know, in this case, uh, you can probably let's say get like a metal cup that you can put in your designed mug. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, you know, so you can take the metal mug out and wash it when you're done. Do you ever use uh, 
that, that can be done. Yeah. Like I, I bring up Thingiverse here, so I can uh, I can take existing models, import them, and uh, import them. How about we? I, I try that. Let's see. Yeah. So, so like, what was your example? So like when? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Oh well, I was gonna ask because like when we got when we walked in, we were building the sword. So I'm thinking like, um, do you ever kind of uh, kind of have your own your own pre-made assets that are kind of like the base? So for example, if I were to ask you, I want a broadsword, and somebody else is like, well, I want a fencing sword. Do you kind of have like some sort of base asset that you use and you use that to control? This? And you kind of I guess shorten your process. I guess if that makes sense. Base asset. Uh, I would just go off. Let's say. Photos of a fencing sword, so I know I can do something thin mm -hmm. or a broadsword. You know that that's something wide. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, or I can, or who knows? Maybe there's like an existing uh, fencing sword I can uh, modify. Yeah, or like maybe you just already have like the uh, the shape of a car build, so you don't have to start from scratch every time. You can kind of operate that way. Or? Let's see. Let's see. So if we search for fencing on a Thingiverse, so we have some existing blades here, so I can go off that. Maybe I can. Uh, I, I can make fencing. my own uh, <laughs> my own uh, handle for fencing in here. Okay. Uh, okay. So how about I just imported something we can put on our tiki mug. Wait for it. Yeah, the Aperture Science logo. Happen to have that for some reason. My stencil folder. So now we have this hole here. And now you know, we just move that, center it, and drop it in. Okay, now we import. I just imported the Aperture Science uh, uh, logo. All right, uh, I don't think I can curve this, but just say. Okay, I'll move this down, size it. I have a question. Uh, is there a feature on Tinkercad that, like, for instance, that you know you've, you've got the the full the full cylinder function to to hollow out that? Cylinder and make it into a mug. Uh, is there a feature that will allow you to center that up so that way you have dimensionally accurate, you know, cylinder around all all sides? Oh, uh, I just uh, hold down a shift like I'm trying to do here. Shift and uh, drag. It's supposed to, and that uh, then that keeps it conformed. And, you know, scales down. No, I'm, I'm talking about the scaling. I'm talking about like you know, so you know, if you're if you're if you're because you. For the, the objects are being brought in freeform, but if you want to make sure that the dimensions are cons consistent diameter all the way around, centering the whole inside the cylinder so that oh. way you, you can ensure that, you know, like, uh, like one side's not thicker than the other. Just to make sure they're exact, as I say, in proportion. I'm just uh, winging it here, so. Okay. All right, Nick, do you want anything? Well, you can definitely see the numerical like measurements on each side, so beyond the look, you can definitely get those measurements right, and you can look in the software, subtract like what he's doing, so all those numbers, I mean, you would go around it and it would all match up. So you can literally be that specific. Okay. I, I didn't know if there was something that could be lined up on the on the actual, you know, on the actual work plane, so that way, you, you know, you could have like coordinate to coordinate, like have the object centered using it that way. Yeah, I've only noticed you can input angle changes, but not anything else. So I think you can be as specific as you want up to the angle, but as in terms of like making sure it's the same circumference, I think it's just programmed that a circle is a circle. So once that's on the planer, then it'll it'll exist and you can adjust it. Okay. Anyway, just imported a, this After Science uh, logo on here. So we get an After Science mug. Uh, but this is LA Comic Con, and well, it's full of octopus. So uh, let's get let's turn this into an octo mug. Yeah, let's use out some tentacles. <laughs> uh, of course.
pentacle is existing outside of our space. Tentacle. Oh, let's just copy paste that. Yep, control. No. Okay, command C, command B, copy paste. So, uh, octopus thing here. Let's see, I'll just turn this over. Just like that. It should go 180. Who's uh, talking in the next room? Some voice actor? Voice actress? Okay. Okay, so. So it's, so it's supposed to be the handle? It's supposed to look like octopus handles? Can be. Uh, so I was just told to just put octopus you know, handles on this, or on, on octopus limbs. It looks like it's going to be pretty impractical. Okay, exactly. <laughs> you know what? See, you just tell a designer these things, and they're like, okay, they may, they might, they may not get too practical here. Let's actually, uh, you know what? Let's put, let's uh, put two, two limbs on each. That's, that's okay. So two here, two here. be practical it might seem might look cool but then you actually drink out of it and uh oh but then you're like why'd i buy this okay and here's our impractical octopus mug <laughs> okay all right uh octo mug all right uh so you've now made this thing do you have to select anything to have it joined into one thing or is it just going to automatically assume that Oh, because these things are touching, that's how it is. Yeah, if you, all right, so it looks like they're all touching. And they're all, oh, how about we uh, download this, you know, just so we see it, see it in our slicer here. So, close that. Okay, get Retsco out of there. All right, so this Wi-Fi might be slow here, so. Yeah, I know I'm asking the impossible, but I figured you might, may as well ask. All right, everything. You're All right. basically telling the 3D printer to accept that this is the parameter. Yep. So if it's touching in this, then it'll has to pr it'll yes. have to print that way. Okay, now let's. Oh, you know, let's uh, let's finish up here. Finish up a little early. Export everything in this design. We have our options here. Uh, STL is a standard. I know it stands for something. I just keep forgetting what it is. But if someone says STL, STL. They're looking for the uh, 3D file. You can the, the file that can be. Put it in their slicer and then you print. All right, here's what it looks like in our slicer. Pretty neat. All right, how long will, the, will, the, will this take? Uh, 13 hours, 14 minutes at the current settings. And it uh, looks like uh, 76 millimeters tall. That's like three inches, you know, including the uh, tentacles on the side here. Okay. All right, any other questions? Uh, do you have any uh, tips for making uh, for making custom supports? Like, you know, it's like you play stadium. You, I mean, obviously, standard you know vertical supports aren't always practical filament wise and also texture wise. Tree supports can save some filament, but sometimes are also just really big, like 
lock around it? Do you have any tips on how to like like just drop support in specific spots? You know, I let me show you something. I, I don't have any practical tips on that, but uh, let me show you something. You might find these it's best to go by example here. Uh, some like you might sign that have their own. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Does this every 15 minutes. But yes, you can maybe in Tinkercad, you can, or in your, in your, in your 3D modeling program like Blender, you can add your own su support so it'll look thin. Yeah, so if you really don't trust the uh, standard supports that uh, Cura provides, you may as well add your own and tell okay. people, yeah, clip those when it's done. Gotcha. Okay, uh, okay let's go back to Thinkiverse. So let's go with something. Let's be, so with support. So these are ones that people add. Thingiverse exact text if you want to be uh, literal. Uh, support mobile with large, large support. Comstock. Oh, here's here's an example. Nice. Yeah. So. Let's go by example here. Alright. So, uh, in Thingiverse, you can click on this. And you can get a better view of it. Alright, so, uh, this dinosaur with support. And if we just, so, you see our Triceratops. Uh, you see that's Triceratops, and it has someone built, put its own uh, custom support there. So, when you bring your, so you get this, and then when your, and then when your Triceratops is printed, you can, you know, clip these. Snap them off. Yeah, yeah snap them off. So, so if you use Blender or Tinker, go back to Tinkercad, yeah, add things like this. Okay. All right, I think we did enough here. Uh, I, very, I definitely have had good experience with using an X-Acto knife to cut these away because it's more precise. Um, but yeah, if you're worried about any sort of structural integrity things. Just go with the supporter. It's probably better. Okay. I think we did enough here, so let's call it here. Enjoy our con. Ready? All right. Thanks for joining. Uh, we've got like three models here. Bye. All right. Let's go watch those kids from the Sandlot talk. Yeah, they're all, uh, what are they? They're all in their 40s now? Probably. All right, enjoy it. Enjoy that. Any, any suggestions? Any improvements? Thank you. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks for having me. I came here to see a new CAD program in action, and that's exactly what I saw. Yeah. All right, good. Glad you, glad you found something. Yeah. Now, what, what do you think of Tinkercad? I wouldn't call it. It's for beginners. Yeah. It's, well, I mean, it's, part of it is that it's free, and that's kind of. Yeah. Uh, that's up my budget. Yeah, and you know, sh I showed Shaper 3D. They'll charge you for you know more things. That's but but if you, we can get some mileage out of it. Shaper's better for if you want to draw things in it. Hmm. The, the few things I'm curious about doing is tr trying to import models, but I think that's a little too advanced for just a. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we just imported models right now in um, Tinkercad. Uh, but I mean, what I mean is so like you have. They, they, everything is modeled to so extent, so far in uh, any video game that you get uh -huh. now oh. that you just basically rip it from the files of a video game and see what you can do. Because why have to reinvent the wheel if yeah. it's already done? Yeah, like, uh, like uh, that's why I go back at, at times and say, okay, is it on Thingiverse? You know, the people who mod games do that. So they'll okay. find those certain graphics and they'll literally upload them to uh, the cloud. Let me show you something. There's a website here called Models Resource. Ever go there? 
I have not. I'm, I'm new to this whole thing. I finally got a budget out uh, of this okay. year, so. Nice. Give me a video game. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Half-Life. Why not? Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, people rip models from games and they put them on the models resource here. Okay, uh, Alien Grunt. Okay, so, see, yeah, some, it comes in, uh, all right. Alien Grunt, Half-Life Customs, okay. And if you look, and we have a, oh, a DAE, uh, that can be loaded in Blender. But what I'm looking for, it ends in OBJ, or object. Or yeah. But, but yeah, you can go on here. All right, what is this? Uh, let's look at Apescape here. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, o OBJ. How about we down? Let's download it. I can't remember the, the Wi-Fi is being particularly <laughs> pain. Okay, it's smack everywhere. Well, I have a bit that hard 15 minute cap over the free internet. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of brutal. All right, all right. Let's Quick. Okay, so we just downloaded our uh, uh, the, like this object of of this monkey fisherman. Okay, let's. So you kind of like how we just uh, open it up in. So kind of like how we open it up in. Uh, in Tinkercad, we load it into our. Uh, so if you, if you look closely. Yeah, there it is. All right, but look, but here, but there's some gaps here. Yeah. Yeah. So there, that's a that's, challenge. That's that's the thing. And and anything about 3D models and video games, they're all designed yeah. to. They're all T-posing. Yeah. They're all T-posing. So, so what I recommend is you you know when you're put in your CAD program, de you know delete the arms, save it, re-upload it in your CAD program, add arms. Hmm. That's a trick. Sounds like a good trick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely saves you a lot of time. Okay, well. The specifics anyway. have already been done, and so that exists on its own, so now you can do what you want to do to it. Okay, well, anyway, this is a, considered the beginner level. I, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, gotta start somewhere. Exactly. Hopefully this was uh, helpful to you. It has, it very much is. Oh. Now I can, you know, I'm interested to go and check it out further. Okay. Yeah, the free tools are sometimes the most intricate, I find because there's more to learn each time I go on, I feel like. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thanks for checking it out. Yeah. Thank you for showing up and for showing it off. And bringing the Game Boy camera, of all things, yes. I'm surprised that you have to look. He is that guy. I'm that guy with the Game Boy camera. Okay. There. And a pit boy. And a pit boy. <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you've got all the bases covered there when it comes to archaic technology. Pretty much, yes. One in the fancy sense, one in the, oh look, Game Boy, I have one of those. And, and there's a printer too. Okay. Yes, but good luck getting any printers. Thanks for helping, man. Of course. Thank you for speaking. Of course. And All right, thanks for Have a great rest of your day. Okay. I'll leave you be. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go see if those guys from the Sandlot are still around. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go.